Super exciting. You guys said that you were interested in the exact spreadsheet that we use to track our finances. It's our annual profit loss statement. We treat our finances like any uh, good business would treat their business finances. And it also is how we track our liabilities, our assets, and our net worth. Yeah. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and purchase down, click the link down below and um, hope you guys like it. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jay. And it's your girl Ashley Ray. And we are back with another video. video. Quick disclaimer, we are filming on our phone right now <laughs> because I forgot the SIM card in this camera. So <laughs> if it looks weird or sounds weird, it's because we're filming on our phone, all yeah. right? But we're still gonna go ahead and, and continue with this video, all right? But go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification so you'll be notified every time we upload a video, all right? And for those of you who are new to our channel, if you like anything adventure, love, and travel, this is the place to be. So we are so glad that you're here. And I do want to say that the background kind of looks like we're in a desert. It does look like we we're are in not a in the desert. We are not in the desert. Well, we kind of are. We live in the desert. Well, we live in the desert, but we're not in the desert. We're actually in front of a lake or a little pond, a fishing fishing pond. Uh, three ways that we invest our money. Uh, number one is cryptocurrency. Um, I got into crypto back in 2016. Um, I've heard about Bitcoin all the way back in 2008, but I didn't pay any attention. If I did, I wouldn't be here right now. I noticed uh, Bitcoin again back in 2016, and I was actually pretty shocked that it was still here after eight years. So I took a deeper dive into it, um, and then I started investing some money, and then the money actually went up like within like a few months. So I told her about it. Um, so, and then she was actually pretty interested, but not as much as me, but we still invested some money into it. <laughs> enough to put some money in. <laughs> yeah, enough to put some money in. Um, and we've actually just been in crypto ever since 2016. Um, as the years went by, we started to put more and more and more money into it. Um, so as you guys, I think as of right now, Bitcoin is like at 33,000. Yeah. We didn't really get into Bitcoin, start investing into Bitcoin until around, you know, 22, 2400 and Ethereum, we start investing into it around between 82 and $300. Uh, right now, Bitcoin is at 33,000 and Ethereum is at, uh, last I checked, like 2000, 2100, somewhere around there. But we also have invested in other coins as well. Um, and with them being Bitcoin, Chainlink, uh, Ethereum, uh, XRP, which is Ripple, uh litecoin and you know just a few other dibble dabbles here um but yes yeah, that's uh that's one way that we uh, invest our money we actually did use some of our um our crypto to, to move out here we just took a little bit of profits but we still are sitting on a pretty good amount yeah i wouldn't even be in a cryptocurrency if it wasn't for jay so really happy about that i only put money into cryptocurrency years ago that i knew i wouldn't miss and so um, I've literally like never touched what I originally put in to it. So it's really just been sitting and growing for five, six years. Um, so again, as you can imagine, like we have multiple, multiple coins uh, that have granted us the ability to just sit on mm -hmm. a really uh, great stash of money that's gonna continue to grow. The second way that we invest our money is we actually have a financial advisor through Edward Jones and we are in what's called a Guided Solutions Flex account. I am not sure if this is only an Edward Jones thing, so that's gonna be some research that you all may have to do if you do or don't have a financial advisor. This particular account is that it allows us to diversify our portfolio. So we're able to invest in stocks, ETFs, and, and mutual funds. A lot of what we have invested in um, through that specific account is like things that we use on a daily basis, Apple, Amazon, um, some airlines, Lululemon, um, you know, household names. And that's, you know, something that we put into um, on a regular basis. And again, it's managed by our financial advisor. The other thing I really like about the account is that it gives us the ability to actually have access to the money at any time. For this particular account, you do have to have a minimum uh, amount of money to invest in. And for this particular account, it is $25,000. 
but there are other options for um, for people who don't have $25,000 to uh, get another account just like that, that allows you to do the exact same thing. So yeah. if you don't have a financial advisor, definitely um, look, look for one, look for one <laughs> because we do yeah. not manage that at all, even, no. even though we do stay up to date with what's going on. And not only that, but you know, it's kind of different from a 401k account where you do pull money out of you don't get penalized. So correct, which is which is something nice to have. So just thinking of it as like a savings account, but it's actually growing at a higher rate than you know 0.01% that yeah. your traditional savings account would do. So, but yeah, again, the, like like she said, you do have to have a, a twenty five thousand dollars minimum to get into this which is the downside. But if you were to, which kind of leads into our next one, if you were to maybe borrow $25,000 from your 401k and then put it in there, that'd be something that possibly you'll be able to um, do, which brings us to our third one, which is our traditional 401k IRAs, you know, through our companies. We have multiple IRAs um, just because we've worked for different companies no. over the years. Our financial advisor actually does manage, manage those accounts too. Those are accounts that we likely won't touch all of it until yeah. we're 65. But um, honestly, we believe that like I would rather be penalized sooner rather than later. And yeah. if I'm going to take the money out and actually use, use it, it to make more money, to invest in something um, rather than just waiting till we're like 65 yeah. and because I'm me, <laughs> using me, the money then. Me so personally, <laughs> this is a whole different topic. But real quick, I'll just touch on it very, very fast. Uh, to me, I think 401ks uh, are a ripoff only because a lot of people you're sitting on 200, 300, 400 thousand dollars and you can only use it when you retire we, after 65. Your 400,000, your, your, your 400, 500,000 that you have in there today, it doesn't have the same buying power when you turn 65. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be a lot less uh, to where you, even if you have four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars in the 401k, if I had that much, I would take that money and buy a rental property with it that will bring in multiple streams of income instead of just sitting on that money today. But that's a whole nother topic. I can, I can definitely talk your ear off with that. If you actually want to hear more about that, you know, go ahead and leave the comments down in below and we can actually deep dive deeper into that subject. But those are our three things that we, that we invest in, that we have our money in. We actually uh, have one, one more, a fourth one. What? Financial literacy. <laughs> We don't invest our money into that, but we, we actually do. We, we, read, we read a lot of books. Uh, one one that's very no, popular. Yeah. One that's very popular. I'm pretty sure you know most of you guys have read. If not, we highly recommend it. Rich Dad Poor Dad. It is an amazing book. It changed my whole perspective on finances and um, and far as how money makes money for you. Uh, the outlook on money and what money is is actually a tool more so than you know something of, of, of true value it's just a tool absolutely and i just want to say like i know we've been talking about 401ks and you know if you don't have a plan for your money and you're not investing in a 401k like you're not contributing to it um you should be right but if you're not contributing to a 401k because you have a specific plan to invest in something else with that amount of money that you would have uh contributed to the 401k then i think that's okay but if you're just not contributing just because yeah you're just not like you need to have a plan for your for your money yeah <laughs> so and real quick i just want to go back on the crypto because i did forget to say if you are looking to invest in crypto uh coinbase coinbase is probably the most user-friendly app out there right now if you want to buy anything crypto bitcoin and ethereum is our two major holds in that sector uh, so if you are looking to invest in that like i said coinbase the link down below you'll actually get uh i think it's ten dollars towards bitcoin if you click the link because it's going to be a link that i'm gonna share with you guys yeah and i am currently working on a crypto course 101 where i teach you how to buy crypto where to buy crypto um and also where to exchange crypto um and where to actually store it as well if you guys are interested in that let me know and you know i will give you provide you guys to the link to that yeah let me just hype the man up he's really knowledgeable about the basics of cryptocurrency yeah so, so i can i can help out anybody
But yeah, thank you for tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in. That's going to be the end of the video. We really appreciate it. And until next time, we out this thing. Out.